October 12, 2002, on Indonesia's holiday island of Bali. Legian Street in the nightclub district in Kuta is full of young people. Thousands have come from all over the world to party. Hundreds of Balinese are working in the shops and bars. Two young men have come to commit mass murder. I had just turned away from the dance floor, and it was a force that just went through you. We thought it could have been, you know, a car backfire, an LPG tank or something over there had gone off. I guess the security probably thought the same thing. And it's just smash, you know, this thing just, just wiped everyone out. Terrorism is such a worldwide thing now and it's never going to stop. But I have to just push it to the back of my mind. Otherwise I'd never leave my house. I'd be stuck here all day, out of fear, and I refuse to let fear stop me. That year I made some of the best friends and lost some of the best friends that I've ever had. And people were like, aren't you scared something might happen again? And I'm like, well, you can't live your life in fear can't cover yourself in cotton wool. So for me to feel sorry for myself, for me to allow these people to terrorize me into not living the life that I still have and still to come is wrong.